Guys, we showed you how to make a bow out of some PVC and some fiberglass. Now it's time to learn how to make arrows that are so soft you can get shot in the face and not worry about whether it's gonna hurt. To get started with this build, there's a couple of things we need to pick up. The first is some blank arrows. And by blank arrows, I mean ones that don't have tips on them. This is usually how you can buy them at sporting goods stores. It's also important to get the arrows that are not made of wood. These are arrows that are designed for shooting at people, and wood arrows have the possibility of breaking in a way that they splinter and keep traveling with a sharp point. The arrows made from aluminum, carbon fiber, or fiberglass aren't going to break in that dangerous way. I grabbed these at a local sporting goods store, but of course they're also available online. Along with the arrows, we have four different types of foam, each progressively squishier than the last. I also have a scrap of some cotton cloth, a roll of athletic tape, and some duct tape. Each arrow will also use a single penny, and we've got a bottle of contact cement to glue all the pieces together. Here's the basic idea. We'll take layers of these four types of foam and glue them all together in a stacked cylinder. These will add a nice cushion onto the front of our arrow, which we'll cover with a piece of cloth and secure in place using the athletic tape. I have a small circle two inches in diameter that I cut out of a piece of cardstock. We now need to cut a few pieces out of each of our types of foam this exact same size. The first type of foam is a sleeping pad. This whole roll is from Walmart and cost about $6. We need to cut four of our two inch circles out of this foam. Next, we need to cut one circle out of some floor mat foam. I have here a scrap piece, which is perfect because I don't need that much. If you're not able to get your hands on some floor mat foam, a few layers of the thicker foam from craft stores should work just as well. Next, I have a foam squishy football that I bought at the dollar store. We want another circle cut out of this foam about one inch thick. Finally, we have some seat cushion foam. This stuff is super, super soft and we want to have two inches of this. If you have some of this foam that's already two inches thick, you can use that. I have a one inch thick piece, so I'm gonna cut out two circles. We have all of our foam circles cut out and we now need to cut some holes in our first layers. Two of them will need small holes about the width of the arrow, and two of them will need slightly larger holes, just slightly smaller than a penny. Now, like I said, I do want this slightly smaller than a penny, so I'm gonna try and go inside of this trace line by just about a millimeter. The holes are cut in our first layer of foam, and now we need to prep the head of our arrow. Take a strip of duct tape and then tear it in half. We want to start winding duct tape around the tip of the arrowhead until the tape is the exact same diameter as a penny. Our little tape coil is now just as wide as a penny, and we want to take a penny Press it down onto the top of that and then use a little bit more tape to secure that in place. This is a safeguard so that no matter what happens, the tip of the arrow can't push through the foam and stab someone when you shoot them with the arrow. The arrow tip is prepped, so now we need to start adding our foam. The first step is going to be to glue the four bottom pieces together, making sure that all of the holes are nicely in line with each other. For gluing foam, contact cement is the best kind of glue. It has a very strong hold and it goes on nicely. The tip of our arrow is obviously too small to fit through that bottom hole. So what we're actually going to do is slide it down on the bottom. The fletchings, these little feathers on the back of our arrow, are surprisingly flexible and will squish down to fit through that hole. Now we can slide this whole cylinder of foam up and we need to fit the head down into the foam. Because we cut the foam smaller than the size of a penny, it's a little bit too big, but that will help hold it in place when it's squished in there. Once the tip of the arrow is level with the foam cylinder, it's time to add the next layer. Now we need to do the same thing with the next layers of foam. Our foam football piece, and then the two pieces of our furniture foam. With all of our layers of foam stacked up, we can now see just how much impact that can absorb. The front really squishy bits do a lot of absorbing, and then the back pieces of foam just sort of slow down the momentum as the arrow compresses. With all of our foam pieces glued together, we now want to add a cloth covering over the whole thing so that we don't accidentally grab a piece and tear it apart. It's not super important what cloth you use for this. Something that's not gonna scrape your face is probably a good bet. And we just need to cut a square out of that, about eight inches by eight inches. Let's center the foam head of our arrow right in the middle of that cloth, and then let it drape down on the sides. At this point, we're going to use our athletic tape to secure the cloth onto the arrow. A piece of tape is just attached to one corner of the cloth, 
brought down over the foam and secured around the neck of the arrow. Let's do that for all four corners of our cloth. Now we want to take more of our athletic tape and wrap it all the way around, holding the corners of the cloth down. Continue wrapping all the way down the rest of the arrowhead. The wrapping should extend down off of the arrowhead onto the shaft. Make sure some of the tape is wrapped all the way around the gathered bits of tape on the arrow shaft. This will help prevent it from peeling apart later. We now have an incredibly squishy arrowhead that's soft enough that it can hit a person at high speed without worry of injury. Yesterday we built our bow, today we built this arrow. Let's give this a test fire. It's not real slow mo. I'm just smushing it fat. I'm just smushing it slowly. Yep. So I just took an arrow to the eye. It was pretty much a bullseye or a person's eye. It was it was a direct shot right on my eye. And you know what? It was startling, but it didn't hurt. There's no pain. My eye's not like red and bloodshot, and I'm not going to the hospital or anything like that. Like these are very well padded. With your PVC bow and your well-padded arrows, you are now ready to start hunting your friends in a completely non-destructive way. Grab some friends, grab some supplies, and start making these immediately, because archery tag is a ton of fun. Guys, that's not all. There's more for you to see. The little box up at the top will transport you directly to our last video, and you should go check that out. The box at the bottom will show you what YouTube thinks you should be watching next, and this bomb here in the middle will subscribe you to the channel so you never miss a video. Don't forget to ring that bell, and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.